when running your scene or your game in Godot, you typically have a bunch of things being spawned by a code, such as the enemies here or the rockets from the turrets. You can see each of these nodes being created and deleted by clicking on the remote tab in the scene dock on the left of your screen. You can see uh, the nodes change here as explosions and uh, damage indicators appear and disappear. Um, and so you can use that to inspect each of these instances. To do this, you can open the debugger tab at the bottom of your screen and click the pause button in the top right of this tab. This will pause the game. Sometimes some things like particles will keep simulating, but you can see that otherwise everything else is paused right now. And then click on your remote scene tree tab. And this allows you to inspect all the nodes in your project. Um, on the right, I have my inspector and look at what happens when I actually select a node the inspector shows all of the properties. So I could select uh, one of the turrets um, and change the properties such as the first homing turret. So you can't really visualize which node you've selected in the running game. But at least if you know the node path, uh, you can make some changes. So I can select my homing rocket and I can see its member variables. What is its current target? What um, are some nodes that we uh, reference in on ready variables? What's the rotation speed? So I can change that to 0.05 and I can resume the game by clicking the continue button in the debugger bottom panel. And then you will see that there's one turret at the bottom that rotates much slower. And so you can use that to test some changes live on a single instance or to debug your game. Oh, and if you're wondering how I'm doing so that I can click on the Godot editor and still have the game running, to do that, you go to Project, Project Settings, and uh, Display Window, and turn on Always on Top. This will keep the game window always on top of the editor. On this channel, we answer your questions about Godot and game development in less than five minutes. If you have any such question, please ask in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.